Justin Barnes witnessed the shooting. He joins us now from Orlando. Justin, I want to thank you for joining us. Uh, this is obviously a difficult for you to relate to, but tell us what happened at 2 o'clock this morning. You were outside the nightclub when you thought you yes, heard thunder? thunder? What happened? Uh, uh, I was at I was at uh, Cayley Avenue in Orange, right right in front, right next to Einstein Bagels across the street from Pulse Orlando. I was there for at the red light for about a minute, uh, give or take, and just out of nowhere, man, uh, just bang, 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 bangs, and I, I, everything like seemed to stop for a minute, and I, I just I. I it, <sighs> It was just it was the craziest experience I've ever I've ever been through. Like people were screaming and yelling, and the officer that was firing uh, his uh, the officer that was there at the club, he started he was firing his weapon at the at the guy, and he was saying, "Get the f out of the way! Get the f out of the way! Everybody go! Everybody go!" And people were like running past my car and stuff, and I, I started I, I accelerated forward past the Seven Eleven on the side. And I turned back around, I did a U-turn, I came back up on the left side of, of, of Pulse, and there was people like running around, uh, screaming, like one lady was dragging her leg and she was bleeding, and just, I, 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 all I can remember is just everybody screaming and just the guns going off and everything. And it was like right there, I was right there by the stuff, I could literally smell gunpowder from, from where my car was sitting at. And then what did you do? I, I was just make, I was making sure I got out of my car and I parked right there. I left my doors open and I got out and I was just making sure that people were getting away safely. And then the gunman started shooting towards our area, but he was on the the patio area of the uh, of Pulse. And I, at that point, I, I got back in my car and I took off and I made my way home. I have a police scanner that I was listening to the stuff go on and and the whole time I'm just hearing about the cops like surrounding him and even through the, the radio chatter you could hear the gunshots and just people still screaming and stuff i've ne i saw like five people drop like balloons in front of me i've never seen anybody die in my life i've never wanted to see I, I don't i wish i could literally unsee what i saw and hear and hear what i heard justin were you able to actually see the shooter you said you could see the police officer could you see the shooter I saw the muzzle, the muzzle blast from his from his firearm. It, it, I, I'm assuming that it was the rifle because I, I, I know from uh, past experience, my father's in the military. Uh, of the, I could differentiate the the difference between the the, fire, the handgun that he was using and the the AR-15 that he had. I, you could see it so vividly, the muzzle blast, and I could like almost like hear like bullets running past my head. And it all happened in like a matter of like five, I, I was there for a total of seven minutes is what my uh, the low jack on my car says I was there for. And in that seven minutes, it feels like it was at least five years. And I didn't know until just now from hearing the report that it, that over 50 people were or have been casualties from what happened. I live in Delaney Park. It's not even two miles away from the from the nightclub. And it's just really too close to home. I, I don't feel safe. I don't. I don't feel right anymore. I literally just feel like there's nothing you can do about anything in the world anymore. And I, f I literally feel traumatized from what I saw. Yeah, it was, it's clearly, obviously, an unbelievable situation for anyone to have dealt with. It's like being in the middle of, of a war. Uh, it was basically a war. That's what was happening. It was a war. <laughs> it, I just... Uh, my heart goes out to the people's families and, and everybody affected by this. Uh, I wasn't affected physically, but I'm telling you, man, I'll, I'll be affected by this mentally for the rest of my life. I've never seen anybody die in my life. And I, I, I wanted to help. I, I wanted to get closer, but I was really just... Uh, there was so much gunfire and so much so much movement around. You could Like, you couldn't think straight even if you wanted to. I, I couldn't even think straight what, once I got home. I was, like, losing everything in my pockets. I was, like, holding my phone, wondering where it was. I, I, it's, it was literally just the scariest environment imaginable. Justin, can we talk a bit about the Pulse nightclub? The mayor of Orange County, Jacobs, referred to the, the importance of the, of the gay community uh, 
to her community uh, and, and the fact that this may very well have been a target because the people were there out celebrating uh, and because they were gay. Can you talk a bit about the club and its importance to the, the community? Uh, I am actually a part of the homosexual community. Uh, me and my partner that's holding the camera is actually gay. Um, I, I, I'm all fully active in, in our community. Um, I, I, I've only frequented, I, I've only been to Pulse about two times, but when I've been, you know, the two times I've been there, they was so peaceful. Like, you literally felt safe. And since, like, yesterday, like, I felt like something was coming, like something bad was going to happen. And I, I don't know what put me there in front of that building, and then, but something did, man. And I just, I, I just feel like calling all my worst enemies and just, like, and, and apologizing and, like, I, I ask, I asking, you know, God for forgiveness about what I've done and, and asking him to watch over everybody's families because I live not even two miles away from Pulse and Southern Nights Nightclub is right here but on the other side of me on Bumby. And we've never had problems in Orlando with the gays being targeted, anybody, uh, transsexuals, uh, lesbians or anybody. We've never had a problem with it here. I've always felt safe to, you know, to be openly who I am and now I'm, like, I'm, scared to even say um, anything. Justin, now, this is uh, a situation that we now know is the worst mass shooting in U.S. history. Uh, this is an election year. Uh, this is a man, by all reports, with a high-capacity assault rifle going into a club. Uh, do you think this will be a situation that America is going to do some soul-searching over? I think they should, man, because I am, and it's only been, what, four hours since the shooting? I, I started, I, I was, I, I, I can almost promise you, man, I could see other people's lives, like, flashing before my eyes. Like, as people were running out, I was just thanking the Lord that, that they were actually getting out. I've never had to, I never even, like, thought of anything like that, being a part of anything remotely close to that. And just the fact that it was targeted against the the gays and uh, uh, like picked the uh, somebody picked Pulse and just walked in there with a gun. And as far as how the gunman got in there, like me personally, from where he was shooting at at first when the gunfire let out, I honestly think that he just shot his way in there, man, from off the street. There's like, there's no way he could have possibly been in there. I I think I honestly believe that he that he started his way from the street and just gunned his way inside. Justin, we're about uh, nine hours from what is uh, perhaps the most traumatic incident that anyone could see. What are your thoughts now? My thoughts are just, to be honest with you, man, I don't have, I, have, I have so many thoughts right now that I can't even pick anything. I'm just, I'm literally distraught and traumatized on what, I, I literally saw murder happen and, and it, it makes me feel really different and weird inside. Like I called my little sister out of everybody I could have called first and told my little sister and and we just sat there and cried. Like my little sister has supported me through my through coming out of the closet and and everything and like she was just shocked. I had my middle school registrar call me and make sure that I was okay. Just it's a lot it's affected so many people in the state of Florida so far that I can that I can count that it's I know it's affecting people now like like all over the world. It's going, to be, it's going to be an imprint on our lives for the rest of our lives. Justin, we cannot tell you how appreciative we are of you sharing your story with us. Uh, best of luck in your emotional recovery from all this and the best of the people of Orlando and your community. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us. All of Canada thanks you. Thank you, sir. God bless you guys. Justin Barnes is an eyewitness to the mass shooting in Orlando.